Welcome, ghouls and goblins, to another Launchpad to Learning video. It is pumpkin carving season, and I want to show you a spooky, slimy, ooey gooey way to turn those pumpkin guts into slime. So what you're going to need is some pumpkin guts. I have some here in a separate bowl. The guts, the seeds. I would like to start with maybe about a fourth cup. You can always add more to your slime. But that's what we're going to start with, is about a fourth cup of pumpkin guts and seeds. You're also going to need a mixing bowl, some clear school glue, some liquid laundry starch, some liquid measuring cups, a dry measuring cup, half a cup to be exact, and a spoon. So to get started, we're going to take our large mixing bowl here and we are going to combine half a cup of room temperature water with half a cup of clear glue. This activity can be pretty messy and sticky, so you'll notice that I have gloves on. That is totally optional, but just know that this slime gets really, really ooey and gooey. But it won't hurt your skin as long as you're not allergic to liquid starch. So if you wanna get in there with your bare hands, Go ahead and do that. All right, so I've got my half cup of glue here. I'm gonna add that, potion style. Get all that in there. And then we just wanna combine the two. So again, we're combining half a cup of water and half a cup of clear glue. Mix that all up. Get that good and combined. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and add our pumpkin guts too. So again, this is kind of about a fourth or a third cup. I kind of eyeballed it. If you add too much, it makes your slime just a little bit more watery. So we don't wanna add too, too much to start off with. So we've got that glue, water, pumpkin gut mixture, not yet slime. So we need to add our activator, which is gonna be the liquid starch. That's gonna bind everything together and turn it into that slimy substance we're all familiar with. So to that, we're gonna add one fourth cup of liquid starch. And you will notice pretty shortly after adding that, your mixture is gonna to start to kind of congeal, combine together and turn into ooey gooey slime. Now, if your pumpkin guts are really, really wet, you might need to add just a little bit more liquid starch, which I am noticing here with my slime. So I'm gonna just eyeball it and add just a little bit more because my slime is a little bit too watery still. So let's add just a little bit more and see what happens. Add a little bit at a time now, it probably goes without saying, but because we're adding this liquid starch, this is not edible slime, so please do not put it in your mouth. It also may really help if you work in a protected area, maybe cover your work surface, maybe wear gloves if you're kind of sensitive to that sticky feeling, perhaps an apron or a lab coat like myself. Look at that ooey gooey slime. Now with this slime, it's not like other slimes in that you can't keep it forever because the pumpkin guts will start to kind of get icky and moldy. So you can keep this in the fridge maybe for a day or two in an airtight container or Ziploc bag, but after that you'll wanna throw it out just to prevent any molding or things like that. If you play with this in your, with your bare hands, make sure to wash your hands thoroughly afterwards as well. Mine could still use a little bit more liquid starch, but it's still super ooey, gooey, slimy. And the more I play with this, the more the water will actually kind of work in there and turn into slime. Look at that, ooey, gooey pumpkin slime. A fun way to use those pumpkin guts after carving your Halloween pumpkin. So have fun with it, friends. Get in there, get slimy and ooey, gooey. 
and have a happy Halloween. See you next time.